Hi traders and welcome to my beginner's guide to reading order flow and trading profitably off of it. So with this, I want to go over three things. Orders, limit and market, how the bids and the asks or offers as they're called affect the market and how order history plays into decision making. So first of all, let's go over orders. What you see here are all limit orders. Bids are just buy orders below the last traded price and offers or asks are just limit orders to sell above the last traded price. Now, there, um, these are all limit orders and limit orders can only be filled with market orders. They play into each other. For example, a market order to buy would take away liquidity from the offers and would reduce these numbers. And, an, and a market order to sell would reduce liquidity from these numbers as well. So market orders you can think of as initiators of a transaction, and these are the transactions down here. And limit orders are the takers um, of the, are the makers of the transaction whereas the market order people are takers. So more importantly, let's get into how you can use order flow to make profitable trades, because that's probably the reason why you clicked on this video. And the most important concepts for a beginner to figure out is the bid wall and the offer wall. This is a very simple way to trade order flow. And what you want to look at is you want to see how strong the offers are at the lowest price and you want to see how strong the bids are at the highest price. Other prices are important as well, but the most important are the prices closest to last traded price to here. So as we can see right now, currently, it looks like there are more offers than bids, meaning that there are more limit orders to sell than limit orders to buy. So as you can see, this fluctuating between 35 and 53 as the limit orders to sell come in and out. We can see that this market might turn downward simply because there's something that we call an offer wall. An offer wall is where there's significantly more offers above the last traded price then there are bids, or simply put, this number is much higher than this number, which it is right now. Same is true with a bid wall. A bid wall would be the case where there are many more bids at this price than there are at this price. Now, when we see an offer wall, we would expect price to come down or to at least retrace a bit, maybe like this, but it can also turn into patterns like this. It all depends on order flow as this happens. And when we see a bid wall form, we would expect that price would go up and respect the bid wall. Now that's a very simple way to, to trade, but it does get more complicated than that. And I will be going into more advanced techniques in reading the bid and the asks in a, another video. So next we are going to go over order history and especially order history at turning points. So what I like to call turning points are just important points in price. So this can simply be just support and resistance. As you can see here, we had some resistance, some resistance in this area. And this is where you'd want to look at order history. If you see that price is hitting resistance and that order history is quite bearish, meaning that there's a bunch of red order history that many people are selling, so as you can see, the, it, would be, it would look like this, except that it would be likely that these numbers would be much higher as many more Bitcoin were being sold. Then you can expect that resistance is being respected and the price will come down. And the same is true with support. If price is trading at support, as we can see, it was just about here, and order history is quite bullish with many Bitcoin being bought, then we would expect this support to be respected and for price to go up. 
Similar, similarly, we know that and another important point is the hundreds. What I mean is 2300, 2200, 2400, and so on. And that's important psychologically because many traders like to put orders at the 2300, at the 2400, and so on. And what we want to look for at these important points is what order history is. And right now, it looks like order history is quite bearish. So again, I would expect a retracement or a um, form downtrend. So that's it for a very, very simple rough guide and intro to trading order flow. And in my next video for strategy, I will get more into depth in how you can trade more complex structures and deal with various situations. Thank you for watching.